teachers, I'm Sibby Sad. Today I'm going to answer the question, how do you stop slouching when you ride? <laughs> All right, so assume the position. You're watching TV, surfing Netflix, can't find anything, maybe eating some chips. This is relaxed. This is cash. This is, um, yeah, just total relaxation. When we're riding a horse, sometimes even coaches, I can't keep sitting like that. <laughs> coaches even say to us, relax, relax. And that means that we've got too much tension in our body. But I don't ever like saying the word relax because relax to me is this. Now, I can never do anything on a horse when I'm like this. The whole point of riding a horse is to influence the horse with your body. That your body connects to the horse's body and you can, can, can control each other and influence each other, but both of you need to be in balance. This is not balance. If he spooks, takes off, does something, I am going to end up on the floor. I'm just going to shoot off down past his shoulder. So I need to remain in balance. You know when the horse shies or the horse bolts and the horse bucks and the rider just sits there? <laughs> they just sit there. That's being in ultimate balance. And that's creating positive tension in different parts of your body to create that balance and that anchor that no matter what the horse's body's doing, it can come back to you, come back to your anchor. We'll get back to the training in a second. I just wanted to remind you, if you're loving this video, make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment on how this video has helped and your biggest learning so far. And keep going, like, keep going in balance. So of course we know what we need to do. We need to have a long line, no, what's it called? Ear, shoulder, hip, heel. But this is specifically about slouching. So the first thing I want you to think about is, you know, you might be going, I'm sitting up straight. I'm sitting up straight. I'm sitting up straight. But you can tell my shoulders are rounded. So people say, pull your shoulders back. So you go, oh, okay, I'm putting my shoulders back. I'm putting my shoulders back. What's happened to my back? We've got to be curve in it. We don't want to be curve in it. So we want to keep the shoulders back, but we want to flatten out our spine as if we had written who our favorite crush was on a blackboard and that crush has just walked in and we're going up to the blackboard and rubbing up and down on the blackboard, the name. Now, if we have a big arch in our back, we won't be able to rub out the, back, uh, rub out the name. We need to have that nice flat spine. And how we do that is by tilting the pelvis and pushing that, if you've ever been to a Pilates class, your stomach into your spine. So by having, being really strong here and keeping that all strong, that keeps your back straight. So then when you pull your shoulders back, your you just pull your shoulders back. Now, I used to think for years, shoulders back, shoulders back, and people say, stick your boobs out, stick your boobs out. I just went, why? Because you want me to look better? I literally thought it was just for looks. Here's the secret. It actually helps you ride so much better. It actually is the, the whole way you collect a horse. So when I'm going medium canter, my medium canter is a little bit like this. You can see I've slightly tilted forward and I'm slightly gone, and then when I collect, whoo, I pull those shoulders back. You know your two shoulder blades? They're like two livers, your two, the scapulars, Shan. <laughs> Shan's like, I didn't go to university and do biology, me neither. Um, but yeah, you've got these two scapulars, and you want to pinch them together. You want to pull them together. So get, get someone, your partner, or someone in a bathing suit, even if you don't know them very well, excuse me, <laughs> and ask them to pull their shoulders back. And you'll notice when they pull their shoulders back that those two parts of the body, don't know what they're called, come in. So I always think about, okay, how can I get that part of my body closer, closer together, two shoulder blades tucked in together. And it's not to stick your boobs out, it's not to look good, it's actually like to whoo. You can tell what happened when I did that. I made a noise, it should have made him go forward, but because I went whoo, that tells him in every part of my body to stop. And obviously if that's collection, we don't want him to halt. So my legs will be like, no, 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 it's, it's collection, not stop. But it's a whoo, it's, it's a balancing on the hind legs. Um, don't move forwards, move up, aid. So how do you stop slouching is, I just wanted to give the why. Sure, you might want to stop slouching because it doesn't look that good. But if you want to become a beautiful dressage rider that can ride some cool stuff, you need to be able to get that body position. So it's all about, I just always think, roll my shoulders back. And I have to stretch my shoulders all the time. They're the one thing that's tight on me. So, you know, even do this. 
and go, okay, how does that feel? How does that, where are we going? I don't know. But how does that feel? Okay, my shoulders are back, but you can tell I lean forward when I do it to make the exercise easier. So it's like, okay, now I'm gonna bring my hands forward again, but how do I keep, and it's just like Pilates or yoga, it's about how do I keep this part of my body back while I keep my legs and hands forward? Because what people do is they go, oh, okay, I've got my shoulders back, and now my hands are forward. And straight away their shoulders, can we go this way? <laughs> and their shoulders come forward. So it needs to be, whoa, and then your hands can move forward, but the shoulders and the scapulas, if you don't even think about your shoulders, <laughs> you just think about those two things at the back, your scapulas pointing in together, that'll give you the right look. So trust that helps, enjoy. So trust that helps. Remember, if you guys need any help with steps, procedures, strategies, recipes. How do you do A? How do you do B? How do you do C? I've got a free training class that tells you all about creating a dressage system that works for you. Go check it out on the link below.